Hey everyone, how's it going? It wasn't long ago when I introduced this Shimano Dropper Remote to you. This is the XTR version MT800 that I like a lot. I'm still using it on my Yeti. But guess what? With the introduction of their Dior 12 speed, they have the cheaper version, the MT500. Let's take a closer look at this. If the XTR MT800 was made in Japan, this new MT500 Dior is made in Indonesia. Shimano calls them the seat post lever and for some reason it has Shimano Olivio written on the box even though this was launched with the Dior 12 speed. This is the iSpec EV version of the remote. Uh, they also have a bar clamp version, dropper remote with a barrel adjuster. Uh, SP41 is the cable and housing that's included in the box. This is meant for cross country and trail riding. Interesting to note that the XTR only exists as an iSpec EV attachment. This new MT500 comes with a bar clamp as well. And in the box you're gonna get a user manual telling you to go online. Obviously you get the lever. You're gonna get this iSpec EV attachment and the SP41 cable and housing. The housing is 1.5 meters length. I couldn't see that anywhere. Here on the back of your lever, you see that this is made in Indonesia and the product code. And looking at it next to the XTR, yes, indeed, striking similarities. Aside from this cutout on the XTR that doesn't ex exist on the Dior or the Alivio, I should say. And you can see the barrel adjuster being a bit more premium than the one used here on the Dior. Other than that, they look very similar. The shape is definitely identical. I would say that the XTR is anodized aluminum versus the Dior, which is painted aluminum. The length of the lever is the same. It is grooved just like the XTR. And you can see the uh, attachment screw here, which is trapped with an O-ring. On the flip side, you're going to see this is evolving around what should be either a big bushing or probably a bearing and it has this spring inside so the lever is always staying in place with or without cable attached. On the XTR the cable attachment bolt is black. This one seems to be cheaper material but obviously is in the same spot as the design of the two seems to be identical and aside from that the, the feel of this is not bad at all this being painted and that one being anodized aluminum. The cable pole on this remote is 9 millimeters. that's the same with the XTR. That makes these remotes kind of universal, so you can use them with almost any dropper pose that you might have. I didn't notice this earlier, but the XTR lever seems to be flat. The Dior, it's a bit curved. Also, if you look at the shape here of the Dior lever, this is slightly wider. Uh, if anything, that might make it for slightly better ergonomics compared to the XTR. So that's not a bad thing. The weight of the remote and the iSpec EV attachment is 44 grams. I think XTR was 41 grams. And if I add the cable and housing, here is 109 grams. I am pretty sure this is within a couple grams from the XTR. In the video of the XTR remote, I looked at the wolf tooth as a comparison. Make sure you check that out. But uh, let's just say that when it comes to integration with iSpec EV brakes, I would pick the Shimano remote versus wolf tooth probably nine times out of 10. Installation on an iSpec EV brake lever is very simple. That insert that comes with the remote uh, integrates with the bar clamp and then obviously uh, your remote is gonna be installed here underneath. Uh, this is a 3 millimeter Allen key. This is obviously an under the bar remote and you can see the extra adjustability that the iSpec EV provides for your remote or shifter. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in any of these Shimano remotes? Did I mention to you that this Dior is probably one third of the price of the XTR? I am very excited that this exists. It uh, comes in the bar clamp version as well. So from my end, this comes highly recommended as a nicely integrated remote to the iSpec EV brakes. So let me know if you have any questions. If you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media. And until next time, I hope to see you on the trails riding some Shimano gear. Cheers guys. Cheers.